All right, we have our Hobbywing Platinum V4. Uh, it has an adjustable BEC up to 8 volts, and it's a 6S 120 amp. So we did get this used. We don't know what somebody has put for settings on it. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our Hobbywing programmer. And what you do is you unplug the fan, or if it doesn't have a fan, then you're good to go. And you use the fan port that's right underneath that very left capacitor. And then you run it down to your programmer. And then you go ahead and plug your vehicle in. Uh, just make sure that one of your motor wires is unplugged so you don't have an unexpected spool up. So we plug it in and immediately this programmer box will come on. You press OK and it will connect to the ESC. It'll tell you what version of firmware that you're running, etc, etc. It tells you what it is. So we see that this gentleman had it in heli store governor mode, which I don't use that. So we actually want to change that value. And you can see the one that has an asterisk is default. So we can say okay to that. We're going to go to the next item, a six cell lipo. We're going to set it to auto calculate. Next, cutoff type, soft cutoff. He left that, and we're okay with that. Next one, cutoff volt disabled. Uh, I agree with that, even though default is probably 3 volts. But I agree with the setting that he has here for disabled. We'll go to the next. BEC voltage, he's already got it at 8 volts. Um, we're going to bump that down to 7.4. Again, if you don't have 8 volt servos, this, this would have burned up your servos. So, again, you need to program your ESC on a helicopter. So, next... Startup time. I actually like a really long startup. So default is 11 seconds apparently. I like about 20. Like a nice slow startup. Governor parameter 4, that's default. Uh, param I, default. Air time. So I was on 205. 255 is default. I don't remember what this is, but we're going to go with the default on that. Restart Excel, 1.5 seconds. We'll just leave that at default. Uh, brake type disabled, obviously. Brake force disabled. Uh, timing 15 degrees default. Motor rotation, for now we're going to leave it at clockwise because we don't know yet. Um, but you can also just switch two of the wires, any two. Uh, we'll leave that at default. Startup power is 3. That's fine. We don't need it to be crazy. We're just going to look at some of these other things here. Okay. So we have everything set the way that we want. So there was quite a few settings, guys, that we had to change in here. It is set. And now we can power it off, and we know that our ESC is how we like it.